Hello, thank you for joining me today. We've been reading through A Course in Miracles, the main text, and today we're going to read chapter 20, The Vision of Holiness, section four, Entering the Ark. Nothing can hurt you unless you give it the power to do so. Yet you give power as the laws of this world interpret giving. As you give, you lose. It is not up to you to give power at all. Power is of God, given by him and reawakened by the Holy Spirit, who knows that as you give, you gain. He gives no power to sin, and therefore it has none, nor to its results, as this world sees them, sickness and death, misery and pain. These things have not occurred because the Holy Spirit sees them not and gives no power to their seeming source. Thus would he keep you free of them. Being without illusion of what you are, the Holy Spirit merely gives everything to God who has already given and received all that is true. The untrue he has neither received nor given. Sin has no place in heaven where its results are alien and can no more enter than can their source. And therein lies your need to see your brother sinless. In him is heaven. See sin in him instead and heaven is lost to you. But see him as he is, and what is yours shines from him to you. Your savior, savior gives you only love, but what would you receive of him is up to you. It lies in him to overlook all your mistakes, and therein lies his own salvation. And so it is with yours. It is the reawakening of the laws of God in minds that have established other laws and given them power to enforce what God has created not. Your insane laws were made to guarantee you would make mistakes and give them power over you by accepting their results as your just due. What could this be but madness? And is it thus that you would see within your Savior from insanity? He is free from this as you are, and in the freedom that you see him in, see your own. For this you share. What God has given follows his laws and his alone. Nor is it possible for those who follow them to suffer the results of any other source. Those who choose freedom will experience only its results. Their power is of God, and they will give it only to what God has given to share with them. Nothing but this can touch them, for they see only this, sharing their power according to the will of God, and thus their freedom is established and maintained. It is upheld through all temptation to imprison and to be imprisoned, it is of them who learned of freedom that you should ask what freedom is. Ask not the sparrow how the eagle soars, for those with little wings have not accepted for themselves the power to share with you. The sinless gave as they received. See then the power of sinlessness within your brother and share with him the power of release from sin you offered him. To each who walks this earth in seeming solitude is a savior given whose special function here is to release him and so to free himself. In the world of separation, each is appointed separately, though they are all the same. Yet those who know that they are all the same need not salvation. And each one finds his savior when he is ready to look upon the face of Christ and see him sinless. The plan is not of you, nor need you be concerned with anything except the part that has been given you to learn. 
for he who knows the rest will see to it without your help. But think not that he does not need your help to help him with the rest, for in you your part lies all of it, without which no part complete, nor is the whole completed without your part. The ark of peace is entered two by two, yet the beginning of another world goes with them. Each holy relationship must enter here to learn its special function in the Holy Spirit's plan, now that it shares its purpose. And as this purpose is fulfilled, a new world arises in which sin can enter not, and where the Son of God can enter without fear, and where he rests a while to forget imprisonment and to remember freedom. How can he enter to rest and to remember without you? Except you be there, he is not complete, and it is his completion that he remembers there. This is the purpose given you. Think not that your forgiveness of your brother serves but you two alone, for the whole new world rests in the hands of every two who enter here to rest. And as they rest, the face of Christ shines on them, and they remember the laws of God, forgetting all the rest, and yearning only to have his laws perfectly fulfilled in them and all their brothers. Think you, when this has been achieved, that you will rest without them? You could no more leave one of them outside than I could leave you and forget part of myself. You may wonder how you can be at peace when, while you are in time, there is so much that must be done before the way to peace is open. Perhaps this seems impossible to you, but ask yourself if it is possible that God would have a plan for your salvation that does not work. Once you accept his plan as the one function that you would fulfill, there is nothing else the Holy Spirit will not arrange for you without your effort. He will go before you, making straight your path and leaving in your way no stones to trip on and no obstacles to bar your way. Nothing you need will be denied you. Not one seeming difficulty, but will melt away before you reach it. You need to take thought of nothing, careless of everything except the only purpose that you would fulfill. As that was given to you, so will its fulfillment be. God's guarantee will hold against all obstacles, for it rests on certainty and not contingency. It rests on you. And what can be more certain than a son of God? A son or daughter, a child of God. So this is a great uh, section of this chapter. I love the first sentence. It's perhaps the most important. Nothing can hurt you unless you give it the power to do so. So if you'd like additional support for this chapter, feel free to reach out to me, 907-351-3003. Texting is best, initially at least. And you can also message me through SoundCloud or YouTube or Facebook. Until the next reading, thank you for joining me today. Namaste and much love.